Hello everyone and welcome to the Learn Services. In this video, I am going to talk about science and technology uh, objective questions. These are actually MCQs for uh, yeah, prelims exam. You, you can use for any exam, but uh, these are actually designed for UPSC prelims, Civil Services prelims 2018. So let's see the questions, how we can solve that one. Okay. So let's see the last year analytics uh, is 2011. Uh, 19 question came in si from science and tech in pre. In 2012, 9 question came. In 2013, 14 question came. In 2014, 16 question came. 2015, 8, eight question came. And 2016, 8 question. And 2017, 8 question. So what is of science and technology is going down. But it's still, let me tell you one thing that it's still science and technology have adequate portion. It's 8 question is coming from there area so this is definitely important portion so let's see the questions let's check your knowledge <coughs> what is the purpose of evolved laser interferometer space antenna is called e laser project so to detect neutrinos actually this question came this year to detect gravitational waves to detect the effectiveness of missile defense system to study the effect of solar flares on our communication system. So answer is to detect gravitational waves. So L is for to detect to, to detect gravitational waves. Okay. Which of the following statement is are correct regarding a Smart India Hackathon 2017? A Smart India Hackathon 2017. It is centrally sponsored a scheme for developing every city in our country of our country into a smart cities in a decade. No, this is not. It is an initiative to identify a new digital economic technology innovation for solving the many problems faced by your country. Yeah, this is the right option. Okay. It is a program aimed at making all the financial transactions in our country completely digital in a decade. No, this is not right option. So we will go with second option. So option B is right one. A smart India hackathon. It is an initiative to identify new digital technology innovation for solving the many problems faced by our country okay digital technology now there consider the following statements thorium is the thrice as abundant as uranium in earth crust so this is the about thorium thorium india have the abundance of thorium thorium is difficult to weaponize to weaponize okay because uh, thorium is used in the uh, to use thorium you have to um, be uh, you have to use it in fast breeder reactor so this is a little difficult process so both one and two are the right option at here so we'll go with both one and two thorium is thrice as abundant as uranium in earth crust and thorium is difficult to weaponize okay okay so now let's start with next one which of the following satellites is used for ISRO for monitoring crop acres so this is an interesting question this is irnss no this is not one Re india irss is indian regional navigation satellite system seven satellites has been launched one satellite have got recently because of some problems in earlier one ri set this is ri set and this is resource set 2a so this is used for monitoring crop acres and this is megatropics so let's talk about everyone so IRNSS is for navigation and location services. So remember this one. RI set is for all weather 24 into 7 surveillance. Okay. And mega tropics is for meteorology, meteorology purpose. Resource set to A is primarily for remote sensing applications, including monitoring crop acres. Okay. This is about resource set to A. Now let's talk about Doklam Plateau supervises the. This is interesting question because it is a current affair. So that, that's why I'm discussing this one. So Doklam Plateau supervises the Chumbi Valley. Chumbi Valley. So please remember this one. Recently China and India got conflicted on Doklam Plateau. So this is about Doklam Plateau. This supervises the Chumbi Valley. Doklam Plateau lies immediately east of the Indian defense in Sikkim. Chinese occupation of Doklam would turn the flank of Indian defense completely. The piece of dominating ground not only has a commanding view of the Chumbi Valley, but also overlooks the Silguri corridor further to the east. So this is that's why Doklam Plateau is very important for Indian perspective. Now let's talk about the area known as Golden Heights. 
this is also not relevant for science and tech but still i'm discussing because this is recently it was important one golan heights golan heights sometimes appears in the news in the context of the events related to central asia middle east southeast asia and central africa so middle east is the right option actually golan heights is related with the syria golan heights is in syria however the western two thirds of this region are currently occupied by israel okay whereas the eastern third is controlled by syria so this is about golan heights now let's talk about this is the science and tech question influenza a h1n1 virus is the subtype of influenza a virus that was the most common cause of human influenza in 2009 okay this is the right one and h1n1 flu is also known as swine flu okay swine flu caused by the swine influenza virus that is endemic to pigs okay so this is also right one so we'll go with c option both one and two are correct influenza a h1n1 virus is the subtype of influenza a virus that was the most common cause of human influenza in 2009 h1n1 flu is also known as swine flu caused by swine influenza virus that is endemic in pigs so this is nothing is revision contamination of drinking water with which of the following cause black foot disease bfd black foot disease so is by arsenic arsenic this is this its contamination is very crucial actually it creates so much problem arsenic uh, is uh, is written over arsenicosis or black foot is caused by exposure over a period of time to arsenic in drinking water it may also be due to intake of arsenic via food or air so itai itai disease is caused by cadmium poisoning so please remember this one itai itai disease is caused by cadmium poisoning okay now let's talk about this one minocycline a drug which was in news recently can be potential drug to treat japanese encephalitis okay so minocycline is uh, famous because of you know it's, it's an antibiotic typically used to treat severe acne surprisingly seem to cure rats infected with the japanese encephalitis virus okay so this is about minocycline temperate grasslands in argentina is popularly known as pampas so this is very simple question but you should know about another one also so let me show you temperate grasslands are Ar in argentina it is called as a pampas in north america it's called as prairie in africa it's called as a weld and in central asia it is called a steppe okay so right now solve this question identify the correct statement with respect to um, geographical indicate indicator tag so gi is covered under the intellectual property rights and the trade related aspects of intellectual property rights okay so ipr intellectual property rights and trade related aspects of intellectual property rights okay the geographical indication tag certifies the origin of a product or produced from a particular region as the quality or other features of the product is attributable only to the place of its origin okay the tag helps farmers or manufacturers as the cause may be as the case may be to get a better price in the market so this is the reason for gi tag so is all options are right so all of them are right so GI is covered under intellectual property rights and trade related aspects of intellectual property rights. This is also right one, and the next one is also right, and this is also right. So all of them are correct. Arsenic present in groundwater can be partially removed by, so along with removal of iron, okay, by precipitation, coagulation method, precipitation and coagulation method. If iron is also present in the water, okay. So this is the right option. By boiling, even if iron is absent in the water, it cannot be done. Okay, on ultraviolet ray treatment, no UV treatment is not possible. On filtration, even if iron is absent in the water, it still is not possible. So along with removal of iron by precipitation, coagulation method, if iron is also present in the water. So this is something I'm telling about how to you can remove the arsenic. A wide range of technologies has been developed for the removal of high concentration of arsenic from drinking water. The most common arsenic removal technologies use oxidation coagulation precipitation adsorption ion exchange and membrane techniques okay these are the techniques like oxidation coagulation 
precipitation absorption ion exchange and membrane techniques other potential approaches would include phytoremediation or the use of bacteria which can play an important role in catalyzing biological arsenic removal processes okay so this is about other one how do you can remove arsenic which of the following is are used in cloud seeding this is a very important question please do remember this one please watch it carefully silver iodide yes it is used potassium iodide which is also used and dry ice solid carbon dioxide all of them are used for the cloud seeding so let me tell you about little more about cloud seeding so most commonly chemical used for cloud seeding include silver iodide potassium iodide and dry ice solid carbon dioxide but liquid propane which expands into gas has also been used okay liquid propane so silver iodide potassium iodide and dry ice these are used for cloud seeding internet of things which is frequently in the news refers to this is very simple question but still i am reading this options a union mission to in interconnect the world and reach out to remote unconnected corners of the world no this is not it is the inter networking of physical devices vehicles buildings and other items embedded with electronics software sensors actuators and network connectivity which enable these objects to collect and exchange data so this is about internet of things connecting all these devices a proposal of united states government to democratize internet governance no this is not right option b option is right one okay the disease athlete's foot is caused by so athlete foot is caused by fungi so this remember this question can come anywhere any exam graphene is frequently in the news recently what is its importance so this question came in 2011 actually in civil service exams so let's see it is a two dimensional material actually uh, some uh, nobel prize was given at the time for the graphene that's why that question came at the time so but it's still graphene is important right now also it is a two dimensional material and has a good electrical conductivity okay so this is about graphene this is the right one it is one of the thinnest but strongest material tested so far yeah this is also right one okay it is entirely made of silicon and has high optical transparency no it is not made of that it can be used as a conducting electrodes required for touch screens lcds and organic leds so fourth one is the right one so we will go with c option 1 2 and 4 okay it is a two dimensional material and has high good electrical conductivity it is one of the thinnest but strongest material tested so far and it can be used as a conducting electrodes required for touch screens lcds and organic leds okay india based neutrino observatory is included by the planning commission as a mega science project under the 11th five year plan in this context consider the following statements neutrinos are chargeless elementary particles that travel close to the speed of the light okay this is right one neutrinos are created in nuclear reactions of beta decay this is also right one neutrinos has a negligible have a negligible but non zero mass this is also right one trillions of neutrinos pass through human body every second so all of them are right one so we can go with 1 2 3 and 4 okay india based neutron observatory is included by the planning commission as a mega science project under the 11th five year plan so this is the about neutrinos next other question about neutrino neutrino has been quite frequent in the news due to important scientific research what are the possible source of neutrino So all of them are sources of neutrino like Big Bang, cosmic rays, supernova, nuclear bomb, geographical geological reactions, okay, nuclear reactors, and sun. All of them are the reason for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All of them are the reason. Okay. Consider the statement about dark energy and dark matter. So this is written over there. Dark energy attracts while dark matter repels. No, this is not right option. Second option is right one. while dark energy shows itself only on the largest cosmic scale dark energy dark matter exerts its influence on the individual galaxies as well as the universe at large this is the question of actually uh, geography as well so geography are also covered on that but this is important one dark energy and dark matter this is interesting one isn't it Consider the following statements: Electromagnetic radiation. You have to tell the which of the following are responsible for the bringing dynamic 
changes on the surface of the earth okay so electromagnetic radiation yeah it affects geothermal energy yeah this also affects G gravitational force yeah this also affects plate movements also affects rotation of the earth obviously revolution of the earth obviously so one two three four and five and six every one affects brings dynamic change on the surface of the earth a solar flare is a sudden flash of brightness observed over the sun's surface or the solar limb which is interpreted as a large energy release comes of following statements okay they are always followed by a colossal mass ejection no this is not right option the flare ejects clouds of neutrons ions and atoms through the corona of the sun into space no this is also not right option they produce radiation across electromagnetic spectrum at all wavelength except visible this is also not right option so we'll go with none of the above okay during a thunderstorm the thunder in the sky is produced by this question came into 13 flames of civil services so muting of cumulonimbus clouds in the sky yeah obviously thunderstorm is because of cumulonimbus clouds lightning that is separates the nimbus clouds no this is not right one okay this is not the right one violent upward movement of air and water particles this is obviously right one so we will go with one and three for thunderstorm okay consider following phenomena size of the sun at dusk and color of the sun at dawn moon being visible at dawn so what do you have to tell that which of the above are optical illusions you have to tell optical illusions size of the sun at dusk yeah obviously this optical illusion color of the sun at dawn yeah this is also optical illusion moon being visible at dawn ah, it doesn't seem like optical illusion twinkle of stars in the sky yeah this may be optical illusion pole star being visible in the sky no this is not optical illusion so we can go with one two and four okay now the surface of a lake is frozen in severe winter but the water at its bottom is still liquid what is the reason this question came in 2011 so ice is a bad conductor of heat now since the surface of the lake is at the same temperature as the air no heat is lost now the density of water is maximum at 4 degrees centigrade so this is the right option that's why water at the bottom is still liquid because density is maximum at the temperature okay 4 degrees centigrade so this is the right option the function of heavy water in a nuclear reactor is to slow down the speed of neutrons yeah this is the right option function of heavy water in a nuclear reactor is to slow down the speed of neutrons this is the right option which of the following is are the examples of chemical change so this is our question also came so let's see crystallization of sodium chloride no melting of ice no soaring of milk yeah this is the right option soaring of milk is the right option because this face the chemical change so d option is right three one ethanol has widespread uses and applications consider the statement with reference to it so you have to consider this reference it cannot be used as a rocket propellant no it can be used as a rocket propellant it can be used in thermometer yeah it can be used as an antiseptic yeah it causes cancer yeah it may it can cause birth defects yeah it may cause it cannot be used in dna extraction because it is highly toxic no it can be used so we will go with d option two three four and five mercury and its compounds are toxic despite it is used in variety of products it is used in okay let's see medicine yeah pens yeah eye drops yeah antiseptics yeah fungicides yeah so d option is right one so mercury used medicine medicine pens eye drops antiseptics and fungicides also so that's all for now and uh, please do not forget to subscribe the channel and uh, share it with my friends so that's all thank you so much bye bye take care